hello there welcome back to the course of CICD uh, for automation testers in my last video I talked about uh, code quality uh, check why it is important and uh, what and all different tools we have so out of that sonar cube is the tool which I am going to use for this code quality check and we are going to integrate this uh, for scanning my uh, automation test script the code which I have for automation sc test script in my continuous integration pipeline using Jenkins okay so before we start let us talk a little bit about sonar cube okay so sonar cube is a open source a static analysis tool okay so when I say static analysis tool that means the analysis performed before I execute my code right so j just like a review right it is launched in 2007 it supports various languages like java c c plus plus c sharp php flex groovy javascript python plsql it supports most of the languages okay so that's the thing which uh, making it as a famous since it is open source as well and it is fully automated analysis tool that can integrate with maven and gradle and continuous integration tools okay so in this session i'll be showing you how we can integrate this sonar cube uh, maven project in my continuous integration pipeline okay so yeah so let's see uh, some of the features of uh, uh, sonar cube okay before I go to sonar cube features uh, what sonar cube uses so sonar cube basically uses find bugs check style and PMD to collect and analyze the source code for bugs okay so what it does is it it just go through the code it goes through the code line by line okay and it uses some in tools internally which are find bugs check styles and PMD okay and uh, it, it publishes the metrics and statistics reports at the end so that uh, which gives us a good visualization I'm, I'm going to show you how it produces the report and how it can help you to uh, find out the bugs not bugs not necessarily bugs but the many things violations and all code, code rules violation on all okay so I'll, I'll be showing you that on a dashboard okay so sonar key features it doesn't show only what's wrong it also offers quality management tools to help put you it right okay so what does this mean is it doesn't show you only the defects but it, sh it, it tells you okay or what can that be okay let's see i'll show you that it addresses not only the bugs but also the coding rules test coverage code duplications complexity so all those things will will, will get listed uh, so sonar cube will scan your code and it will try to find out everything if uh, have you done any code coding rule violation your test coverage your code duplication complexity so it will give you the result for all those details okay so that if if you want to improve some something based on that you can it gives you a shop snapshot of your code quality at the certain moment of time as well as the trend of lagging and leading quality indicator so it will show you all the quality indicators which I'm going to show you in some time it provides you with a code quality metrics to help you to take a right decision okay yeah again that I'm going to show you on a dashboard so uh, okay so sonar cube installation okay so as I said sonar cube is a uh, open source software okay so how we can install sonar cube okay so we just need to go to sonarcube.org okay so let me go to my firefox and let me search for sonar cube okay so the very first url we should get is sonarcube.org okay so here you find uh, this is the home page and here you can find download button and you find one more button which is called as online okay so if I click on online you can see it is opening some uh, online cloud platform for me okay so I'm going to talk on uh, talk about this cloud platform in some time okay so for now I will close this now how to download it just go to downloads and you can find different versions so I'll, I'll just go with this long term support 6.7 version you can just click on this download and it will start a download for you okay since I already have downloaded this I'm not going to do it again uh, okay so here I have it okay so I have just extracted it in my C drive okay 
I have just extracted it in my C drive and here you can find many files like con file so here in con file if you go to the like sonar cube conf here you find some sonar dot properties file okay so here give me a second let me okay so basically it holds all the properties uh, like let us say what should be their logging level and all related to your database and all give me a second i'll show you where it is okay so your uh, jdbc connection related uh, details your jdbc url where jdbc url where your database is like basically what it does is uh, if, if you are using it internally on your local machine you have to use it in a database okay your jdbc username jdbc password okay but i'm not going to use it on my local machine I'll, I'll tell you how i'm going to use it okay if you are going to use it on your local you should have this jdbc connection and you should have all the details updated over here okay your port url username and password fine now if you go to this uh, bin folder okay and your respective operating system version mine is 64 bit and you find something called as start sonar okay so if you click on this start sonar okay give me a second okay let me extract it again I have it in my download folders okay so here it is let me extract this okay so the extract is completed now let me go to the same folder it is in my C drive okay before that I forgot to tell you one thing you should have okay so ex I have extracted it and you should have you have to edit your environment variables okay so if you go to your environment variables okay not your your system variables okay so here you need to update your system variable which is your sonar underscore runner underscore home with your installation directory okay so since mine is windows uh, uh, 64 bit version so I am I'm, I'm here bin slash windows 64 okay so we you need to update this variable okay and as well you need to update the path okay so just just uh, append it at the end here you need to do that just append it at the bottom fine so this is the setting which you need to do and once you have extracted this sonar cube here just go to your bin folder your os and then start sonar okay so it is saying it is already running being used by another process so i think it is uh, the service is already running for me okay so uh, by default sonar uses port 900 okay so here it is okay so localhost colon nine triple zero so that's the default port used by sonar okay sonar cube okay so here you can see the dashboard so this is how sonar cube looks like okay but this is on my local machine okay so here you can find few things like your projects so your projects will get listed over here 
your issues whatever issues you have after scanning then rules and quality profiles and quality gates these three things which i am going to talk uh, once my integration with uh, sonar cube is completed okay so I'll, I'll talk about these things later on okay so this is how you can install sonar cube on your local machine okay but in almost all the organization this sonar cube will be installed on their server right so you need not to do any installation details and all you just need to access it from their server okay the only thing which you might need to do is set your environment variable right that's the thing you need to do okay and then simply access their uh, server okay so that you can access their uh, sonar cube installation fine so this is how you can install this sonar cube fine uh, default installation is localhost 9000 port okay so fine so this environment variable we set it to the installation directory and path we did this to right so this is this is what is about sonar cube installation okay so that's it for this video in my next video i will talk about sonar cloud okay thank you